Hey guys, Weep here. Welcome back to another video by Variety MMOs. In today's video, we'll be talking about jewelry equipment. We'll be talking about purple, blue, and gold level equipment, and we're going to be stacking them up against each other. We'll be comparing the cost and how you obtain these items, and we'll also be talking about the CP gains and the accessory boost that you get when you upgrade all of your accessories. At the end of this video, you will have a solid idea of what jewelry to obtain early on at the game and which ones to avoid because it is a big sink on your black pearls. Before we start comparing jewelry, let's talk about upgrading jewelry and let's talk about buying and selling jewelry. So, first up, the price on jewelry is greatly determined by what people obtain in the store. So if you go into the store up here and go down to add-ons and go to accessories, people are getting yellow accessories in here and selling them on the marketplace for a profit. Because people do this, it keeps pushing the price of all the jewelries, blue, purple, yellow, all the way down, and it actually makes it a lot easier to get your jewelry. The bottom row is white pearls, and the top row is black pearls. So something else to talk about is upgrading. So if you open up your black spirit and then go down to enhancement, you'll see an apostrophe mark above a piece of jewelry. What this means is that you have another jewelry of the similar type and you can use it to upgrade. So you click on it and it will show you the duplicates that you have. Please note that I'm going to talk a little bit about questing and how you obtain blue jewelry in this guide. When you're questing and it brings up the quest interface and it offers you a jewelry piece, this is the actual animation mark that will appear beside a jewelry piece. What this means is that it's telling you that this jewelry piece that it's offering you is the piece that you're currently wearing. So if this is the piece that you intend to upgrade, it's an easy way to tell which ones you should take to save yourself black pearls. Let's talk about blue jewelry. So a moment ago I mentioned questing. So basically what people do is they create as many characters as possible. And they run through the main quest line with your gear. For example, let's say you play a ranger. You will trade all your ranger gear over to another ranger and run through the quest line again. This will get you a ton of rewards. But in this video, we're specifically talking about the blue jewelry that you'll obtain. You'll get a blue apostrophe mark above them looking exactly like this. Which will tell you what jewelry that you currently have equipped when you're trying to get a quest reward. The stats that you want on the jewelry is kind of down to you. The reason I say that is because it'll greatly depend on whatever stats that you get on your equipment and various other things. As you can see in here, I've maxed out my crit chance and I've tried my best to stay away from crit chance. Crit chance just seems to appear on basically all of your gear, so do your absolute best to avoid crit chance when you can and go for the other stats. Okay, so let's have a look at the accessory bonus. So the accessory bonus basically takes the lowest level of your jewelry and gives you a bonus based on it. So all my jewelries are at least level 8, so I get the 6th resonance. I get bonus 8 attack, bonus 8 defense, but I also get all branch damage plus 6%. So all most of your abilities will have some kind of branch damage, which you can generally change. But if you go into inventory and go to across here, and scroll down here, you'll see your branch damage, which caps out at 40%. So I'm now getting, I believe it was plus 6% on all branch damage because I have plus 8 jewelry, which is a part of why we're going for blue jewelry in this guide. So if you open up the branch damage, it'll tell you what branch damage does. And if you look in your skill section, it'll tell you which skills do what branch damage. Okay, so currently I'm sitting on 8 blue jewelry. And this cost me about 500 black pearls, roughly. Of course, it can cost a little bit more if RNG doesn't go your way. 8 level blue jewelry equates to about a plus 4 jewelry. Purple. So the stats are about the same. However, an 8 blue set will cost you about as much as a 0 set purple. So in terms of cost, it will cost you significantly more to get the same stats on purple than you would achieve on a plus 8 blues. So in cost wise, blues plus 8 are so much more effective than purples. That is not even funny. The main reason for this though is because people are running through quests and getting them. And because blues are easier to get, the price gets pushed down more. So in terms of efficiency, 
Blues are simply better than purples. A clean set of purples are significantly weaker than a full set of blues, so make sure that you go plus 8 blues initially. It may be a little bit hard to obtain the blues, say day 1, day 2, because people are still questing and getting them, but in the first week, you should be able to get enough jewelry to get a plus 8 set and to get your branch bonus. Okay, so I mentioned that you get an accessory bonus based on your plus 8, which is located down here. You may be asking yourself, well, why don't I go for a higher one? The reason being is because the higher your accessory gets when you fail it, your accessory will go back to zero if you don't pay the cost to repair it. And at the beginning, it's only like 100k silver, 200k silver. It's not that much. But when you're at like plus 8 and you fail, I believe it's like 8 million or something like that. It's actually quite costly. So I would strongly suggest to stop at plus 8 because that is the equivalent of a plus 4 to 5 purple. And the cost is still kind of manageable, but it is still kind of up there. So the conclusion for the blue pearls is that the blue pearls is significantly better than the blue pur purple pearls both on stats, on resonance, and cost, and ease to get. Let's talk about purple jewelry. So the purple tier of jewelry, base stats is better than a blue. However, as you start to try to upgrade them, you need multiple purples, and as you'll see here, the cost is significantly higher than it would be to get a blue, because a blue is simply easier to get. If we go all the way down to a purple, and have a look at its price. There's 100 black pearls for one, for example, 200 to try to get it to two, and 400 to try to get it to a three. So you would have to get a plus four full set, which would be at minimum of five to 600 black pearls each. So that would be like two and a half thousand black pearls, just for it to equal like a plus eight blue set would give you, not even including the accessory bonus. So a plus 8 blue set is simply way cheaper, the same stats, and has the extra bonuses over a purple set. So when you look at it in this context, the purple against the blue just isn't worth it in any way, shape, or form. In fact, there'll be so many whales buying purples on the official launch because they'll see higher base stats and they'll say, I want these. The purple price may even go up initially, so you'll be able to sell the purples you get for more profit and use those purples to get blues to get up higher or even walk towards your yellows so my suggestions for purples is that buying purples is a total waste of black pearls and i would strongly only buy them to sell them and sell any that you get throughout your quest line or anything else and use all those pearls to acquire a minimum plus eight blue set simply because it's way more efficient let's talk about yellow jewelry so as we mentioned a moment ago, a plus 6 set of purple jewelry will equal about the same stats as a yellow set. Depending on the server, the global may be a little bit different, but the price on yellow is a couple of weeks in should be somewhere between four to 6,000 black pearls, which is not really obtainable from the average free to play player. So if we go down here and you can see that the price on the yellows are quite substantially high, and obviously you need duplicates to keep upgrading, so the cost on getting a single Yellow, for example, is kind of extreme. So what I would recommend is because of when new zones come out, the price of items come down significantly. And this has been proven in soft launch, for example, a new zone come out up here and orange gloves are now obtainable, which has made it so people farm this so hard that the price of gloves come down so significantly. They're not even selling at minimum price and the price is crashing, which is then buy it up later. So basically, what I would suggest is to stay away from purple and yellow jewelry initially. Okay, so the conclusion. The conclusion being that a set of 8 blues is easier, more cost-friendly, and better stats than a set of 4 purples. So it is strongly recommended that you go for a full set of 8 blues instead of a purple. The purples simply don't give enough stat difference between the blues and the purples for the cost difference and the potential RNG to mess you up. So I would go for a full set of 8 blues as soon as you can. And if you really don't want to buy them with the black pearls, you can just go through the quest line and get your own blue jewelry and use those instead of saving, instead of using a black pearl and just save them for other things you need, for example, like an extra pet. The purples plus 6 are equivalent to about a 0 plus yellow. And they're going to be roughly the same price depending on the server. But yellows 
can be upgraded later on and will allow you to push further in the game eventually when you acquire more black pearls where purples aren't really going to allow you to do that. So what I would recommend is because blues are better than purples and yellows are better than purples, I would suggest getting plus 8 blues and skipping purples altogether and going straight to yellow. You can also sell your full set of 8 blues off for about 1500 black pearls which will help other people get their initial plus 8 blues and will help you get towards your full set of yellows. That concludes everything for my comparison between blues, purples and yellows jewellery. I'd just like to add on the end that orange jewellery simply isn't worth it because the, the ability to get them and the value of them is just way too high for anybody that's not literally spending their life savings. That covers everything in today's video. If you did like the video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Do consider checking out our website over here on the left, where we host all our MMO content and everything else that we're working on in the future. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.